In today's lesson, we will talk about the polygon angle sum theorems. Take a minute to read the learning goal and the scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. The sum of the interior angle measures of a polygon depends on the number of sides the polygon has. We know the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180. Let's use that to help us work out the polygon angle sum theorem. The orange quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles with one diagonal. Since we know the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180, this sum will be 2 times 180, or 360. The green pentagon can be divided into three triangles with two diagonals. So the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon is 3 times 180, or 540. The pink hexagon can be divided into four triangles with three diagonals, so the sum of the interior angles of the hexagon is 4 times 180, or 720. Notice that the number of triangles in each polygon is two fewer than the number of sides. So in this, the quadrilateral, there are two triangles and four sides. In the pentagon, there are three triangles and five sides, and in the hexagon, there are four triangles and six sides. There are always two fewer triangles than there are number of sides. This leads us to the polygon angle sum theorem, which states the sum of the measures of the interior angles of an n-gon is n minus 2 times 180, n being the number of sides the polygon has. Take a look at some of the regular polygons. The number of sides each polygon has and its name is given. In example one, we will find a polygon angle sum. What is the sum of the interior angle measures of a heptagon? We know a heptagon has seven sides. So seven is what we will substitute in for n. In the equation, n minus two times 180. Since seven minus two is five, we will use five times 180, which will give us an interior angle measure of 900 for the heptagon. Pause the video and do you try number one. What is the sum of the interior angle measures of a 17 gon? Since a 17 gon has 17 sides, we will use 17 for n. Since 17 minus 2 is 15, we will have 15 times 180, which is 2,700 degrees for the interior angle measure of a 17 gon. In part B, the sum of the interior angle measure of a polygon is given. It is 1,980. How can we find the number of sides in the polygon? Here, let's just work backwards. We know the sum. We just need to now find n. Let's start by setting the equation for the sum of the interior angles of a polygon equal to 1980. Then we will divide both sides of the equation by 180. So 11 equals n minus 2. Now let's add bo both sides, add 2 to both sides, and the number of sides the polygon has is 13. An equilateral polygon is a polygon with all sides that are congruent. Notice the congruent marks on each side of this hexagon. An equiangular polygon is a polygon with all angles that are congruent. Notice the congruent arcs in each angle of this hexagon. A regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. Notice that all sides of this hexagon are congruent and all angles of this hexagon are also congruent. The corollary to the polygon angle sum theorem helps us find the measure of one angle of a regular polygon. The measure of each interior angle of a regular n-gon is going to be the sum of the interior angles divided by the number of sides that polygon has. In example two, we will use the polygon angle sum theorem. A common housefly, Musca domestica, has eyes that consist of approximately 4,000 facets. Each facet is a regular hexagon. 
What is the measure of each interior angle of one hexagonal facet? Let's start by using the polygon angle sum theorem formula to find the measure of the sum of the interior angles of the hexagon. Since the hexagon has six sides, we will substitute six for n in our formula. Since six minus two is four, we will multiply four times 180, and the sum of the interior angles of our hexagon is 720. Since each interior angle of a regular hexagon is congruent, we will take 720 and divide that by the number of angles, 6, to get 120 degrees for each interior angle's measure. Pause the video and do you trend number 2. What is the measure of each interior angle of a regular nonagon? We know that a nonagon has nine sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that all sides and angles are congruent in a regular polygon. Let's start with our polygon angle sum theorem formula and substitute nine in for n. Nine minus two is seven and seven times 180 is 1,260. Since each angle is congruent in a regular polygon, we're going to take the sum of the interior angle measure, 1,260, and divide it by the number of angles, nine. This will give us 140 degrees for each of the interior angles measure. In example three, we will use the polygon angle sum theorem with algebra. What is the measure of angle Y in pentagon T-O-D-A-Y? Let's start by finding the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the pentagon. Since a pentagon has five sides, we will use five minus two times 180. Five minus two is three, and three times 180 is 540 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle T plus the measure of angle O plus the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle Y equals 540 degrees. Now let's substitute each of the known angle measures in this equation. We now have the equation 110 plus 90 plus 120 plus 150 plus the measure of angle Y equals 540. We'll combine like terms and we'll get 470 plus the measure of angle Y equals 540. Subtract 470 from both sides and the measure of angle Y will equal 70. Remember, you can always check your answer by adding the sum of all five angles and make sure that you get 540 degrees. Pause the video and do you try number three. What is the measure of angle G in quadrilateral EFGH? Let's start by finding the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the quadrilateral. Since the quadrilateral has four sides, we will use four minus two times 180 degrees. Since four minus two is two, two times 180 is 360 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle E plus the measure of angle F plus the measure of angle G plus the measure of angle H will equal 360. Now let's substitute the known angle measures into our equation. Now we'll combine like terms and 258 plus the measure of angle G equals 360. We'll subtract 258 from both sides and the measure of angle G equals 102 degrees. We can draw exterior angles at any vertex of a polygon. The figures below show that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. So here, if you notice, we have a 30 degree angle. The exterior angle will be supplementary, so it will be 150 degrees. Up here, we have a 100 degree angle, so its exterior angle will be supplementary, or 80. Finally, we have a 50 degree angle, and its exterior angle will also be supplementary 130 degrees. 80 plus 150 plus 130 is 360. 
Notice the same is true for the quadrilateral. So, if we use polygon exterior angle sum theorem, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a polygon, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. This is always true, no matter how many sides the polygon has. It can be a triangle with three sides, it can be a dodecagon with 12 sides, it can be a 100 gon with 100 sides. The sum of the exterior angles of that polygon will always be 360 degrees. In example four, we will find an exterior angle measure. What is the measure of angle one in the regular octagon? Now, remember, a regular octagon has all angles that are congruent. Since there are eight angles, and we know that the sum of the exterior angles, one at each vertex, is always 360, we will divide that by eight since all angles are congruent. 360 divided by eight is 45. So the measure of angle one and all the other angle measures is 45 degrees. Pause the video and do you try number four. What is the measure of an exterior angle of a regular nonagon? Remember, we know the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. Since a regular polygon has interior angles that are congruent and exterior angles that are congruent, we know each exterior angle is going to be the same measure. Since a nonagon has nine sides, we will divide 360 by 9, and that will give us 40 degrees. So each exterior angle of a regular nonagon will be 40 degrees. Okay, now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions about any of these, please ask me in class. Now that you've done the lesson check, go ahead and give the challenge a shot. Take a minute to reread the learning goal and the scale. See if you've climbed any higher on the scale than where you were before we began the lessons. 